Today we're talking about two different methods to repair pier and beam foundations. Here we are under the first foundation where you can see we have the old stem wall with the new sill plate and lots of sister joists. But everything is in place as it was, it's just beefed up. So we've got sister joists, new sill plate. There's additional beams underneath. So you can see the old versus the new. And for every one of the old brick columns, these piers, there's a new center block or cement block all the way down on both sides. And you've got this new lovely beam in the middle just supporting the middle of the house a lot better than what it was before. Everything is as it was. It's maintaining the same kind of style that was here before. It's just beefed up and a lot stronger. Here we are under another house with a different pier and beam foundation where there's been considerable amount of piers being added. And this new beam runs along the outside wall. Essentially, this foundation is now a floating foundation where this is the structural part and the outside brick that you see there, the stem wall is no longer load bearing as it once was. It's a shared load. And we've replaced all of the rim joists along the section as well. Each foundation repair method has pros and cons. Before deciding on a repair method, it is important to know or research the residential codes when doing projects on your house. Also, consider hiring a licensed structural engineer to come up with the repair plan. The engineer's recommendation is going to be unbiased and reflect the minimum amount of work, if any, required to maintain structural integrity. If you ask three contractors to come in and look at something, you'll get three opinions, none of which are from a structural engineer whose seal and signature is going to be worth it when your house passes inspection. You might be wondering, why am I under two different houses? Well, my husband and I own both of these homes. If you saw the last video, where we were talking about how to choose the best pier and beam foundation contractor. We like two in our bids and we had two houses, so we hired them both. We had foundation work on both houses on the same week. Cha-ching, it was an expensive week. But you can see the differences between the two contractors. So when it comes back again to that other video where I said you want to agree on the scope of work. Well, you might want to know how your pier and beam foundation is going to be repaired. Is it going to be a floating foundation or are they beefing up what's already there? Thanks for watching. I hope this helps with your pier and beam repairs. And definitely check out this video next. It shows you exactly what you can expect, worst case scenario, before, during, and after your foundation repairs. Or you can check out this video next, which will show you how to choose the best foundation repair contractor.